We're getting ready to leave out of Everglades Ranger Station. Don's canoe is ready to go. He went to the bathroom, so just getting ready to push off here in a second. Nice flat. Just a little bit of a tailwind going out. He's coming out Sandfly Pass here, out to the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Nice flat water. Not much wind. It's going to be a nice afternoon to go paddling down to Mormon Key. About four miles to go. Sun setting. Perfect timing. Nice, nice little paddle today. About 15 miles. And almost there. Check this out. Sunset. Probably about a mile out. Look at that. And there's Scott right there. Look at Scott. He's right there. Had a great day today. Freaking awesome. There it is. Sunset on the water. First night out. One of the nice things about the uh, beach sites in the Everglades. Get to have a fire. This is where we camped out last night on Mormon Key and uh, listening to waves lapping on the beach. And the dolphins were out feeding all night long, so that was kind of cool. It's day two, <laughs> and another beautiful flat water day out here on the on the Gulf. You couldn't ask for a prettier day than that. It was a little bit rainy last night, but uh, stopped before the morning, so we were able to pack up everything fairly dry and had a nice breakfast and not too windy so the no seams were a little bit tough but not so bad white pelicans are migratory we only get them in the winter down here and they're the biggest bird next to the condor that we have in the united states so it's pretty cool that we get them down here in the everglades There, yeah. Maybe it'll come a little closer. There's three of them, I think. We paddled about uh, four miles. We're just getting in the mouth of Charlie Creek here. Saw a bunch of dolphins so far today, and then there's three little blues right here, welcoming us to Charlie Creek. So, Charlie Creek. Can't tell if anybody's done it in a while. I tried to put the word out to see if I could get any information. Hopefully we're gonna be able to make it through the inside of the Everglades. If not, we're gonna have to back out and go back up to Chatham Creek, Chatham River, but. Oh, well, there's a little stingray there. Little baby stingray. It's the second one of those today. Pretty narrow in here, but hopefully it stays wide enough for us to get through. 
Hopefully there's no major Irma damage or something, hurricane damage. That would be the thing that would block it. Very nice. Coming up on our first situation. Oh, we got a couple situations up here. A little baby stingray right there. See it? Oh yeah, I'm right on him. Bam, there he goes. That's Mormon Key right there where we stayed last night going into Watson place no gators dang it did see a gator a little while ago saw a bald eagle today too already so that's pretty cool this is the Watson place a big cauldron there that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what they use that for. And you got the mosquito pit back here. I don't know if this is the foundation for the house or if this is a cistern. It looks like a cistern now though. But it's got bolts on it like it had a structure on top of it at one time. It would have been a cistern under the house. I don't know if you'd do that. Seems like that'd be too buggy, but. And yeah, plenty of Brazilian pepper. They try to get rid of it, but it just keeps... It's got a foothold. There's another little foundation for something there. More Brazilian pepper over there. There they are. There they go, right there. This is the last piece of private property in the Everglades. And it is private property, so I need to respect that. Cool little cabin, though. Not sure how people get private property in here, but I'm sure it's grandfathered in from before it was a park. So that's pretty cool. This is an area called Sweetwater. We were in spots where it was four feet deep back there. And you can see the bottom. Here I'm seeing leaves on the bottom. A sandy bottom, no oysters, so it's probably not salty enough for that. Must be some fresh water back up in here. It's really neat to see clear water out here. And I'm just kind of paddling back, it's already past the chicky. and head back down there in a minute, but I just wanted to see where this went to follow it out a little bit there's something up ahead here making wrinkles bottom here is pretty interesting it's got the look of a spring area all this coral here fossilized coral little mounds and holes and pockets on the bottom look like I saw a placostomus back there this must be a lot of fresh in here. I wonder if there's a spring. It's pretty tight there to the right. Let's check the left first. I have to do a little research on this sweet water area. I'll just look there. Yeah. 
Check out that neighbor. Hi, neighbor. Come on. Good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah, here he comes. There he is. Good boy. You want to go canoeing tomorrow? That'd be funny as hell if he was in your boat in the morning. Hey, buddy. Gator. Gonna follow us all night long. Standing guard over us. You just keep circling around. Just wait for somebody to fall in. Well, good morning from the Sweetwater Cheeky area, Sweetwater Bay. What a beautiful place. Stayed here last night. We look over here, you got the cheeky. It's a perfect morning. You got Mr. Scott over there, he's ready to roll. And uh, we're on the move again. Heading back towards Everglade City. And uh, we'll be taking the scenic route, getting in some miles, and uh, having a good old time. Here he comes. That's how he rolls, man. All right, day three, and we're off. Nice night in Sweetwater Chicky last night. Got invaded by a million little tiny bugs. And of course we had our resident alligator stand and watch all night long. I don't know where he is right now. He's over here somewhere though. This morning I looked straight down below my paddleboard and he was like right there on the bottom of the water and uh we saw some really cool tracks being that he left on the bottom because of this silty bottom it was really cool i'm gonna paddle over here and just check them out again one more time on my board here but he's like these little trails where he's dragging his tail and then you can see us there they are right there there's one you can see his footprints and his tail dragging along through there where he's walking on the bottom of the water really cool clear water spot in Everglades that's that's pretty rare most everything's got so much tannin in it you can't see tannin and silt and particulates you can't really see the bottom but here you see the bottom even when it's five feet deep that's pretty nice It don't get much flatter than this out here in the Everglades. There he is right in the water there. Trying to hide from me. Look at that. Laying on the bottom. Lazy gator. Yeah. Yeah, the buzzards are not too happy that I'm over here messing with their meal. Yeah, I know. I'll leave it alone. Trust me, I'm not biting any of that. You can have all you want.
Three days, 61 miles, buggy as hell this afternoon. Yeah. And uh, epic trip. Great trip with Don here. Yeah. We uh, definitely got got some good sights in. Yeah. Saw all kind of stuff. Saw fish and bald sharks eagle and bald eagle and dolphins, dead know, manatee, dead manatee, and airplane uh, engine. Yeah. <laughs> Just epic, epic time and with a beast here. That was awesome. Good times, good, good times. times. And then finishing up with a nice sunset. That's the way to finish up right there. Perfect timing. Yep.